Well, Lax uh, started out not long after he graduated from Columbia uh, working for The New Yorker and working in that New York literary world or magazine world. And he found that it wasn't a world that he felt comfortable in. He didn't like the commercialism, the kind of um, emphasis on materialism, the uh, pressure to write on command. And he, uh, at the same time, was facing the draft as a pacifist. Uh, this was 1941, right before uh, the U.S. entered World War II. And he had a kind of crisis at that point and uh, left that world and began to search for another way to live. And out of that came his decision to live more simply and to pursue a kind of purity in his poetry and, and his spiritual pursuits. Well, Lax was attracted to the Greek islands, first of all, because they were cheap. It was cheap to live there. But he was also attracted to the classical origins, and uh, he had had a classical education at Columbia, and so he knew a lot about the ideals that had come out of Greece and, and the Mediterranean region. And once he went there, he wasn't so sure at first, but over time he came to really love the simplicity of the life there and the, the, what, what he saw as the authenticity of the Greek uh, people, especially the, uh, as he said, unlettered people, the people who were simple fishermen or sponge divers, and especially those people on the island. He felt that these were comfortable people to be among who saw life in ways that he admired.